my name is Jen. I am the Unorthodox Healer. This is a tarot card reading for the middle of April. It's also timeless, so if it pops up on your feed out with that time, please continue to watch. This is a reading for Virgo or anyone who has Virgo as their sun, moon or rising sign. If you were born at night, um, then I would suggest that you actually check out on your natal chart, or your birth chart, as to what your moon sign is um, and start seeing the readings for that because it might be that you actually resonate more with that, um, that sign than you do um, what is typically your, your main zodiac sign, which is known as your sun sign. So if you do that, um, let me know. Um, because I would love to um, see as to whether those readings resonate more with you um, than the ones do for your sun sign. So Virgo, um, today we are doing um, a reading which is based on what you um, need to be focusing on, what is stopping you, holding you back, what you can do about that, what you can't do about it and what the outcome is. So, what you need to be focusing on, we get the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is about being stuck in your head, that there is too much going on and you just can't get your head out of the, the anxiety um, or the, the grief that you're feeling. It is, however, or I don't want to say self-inflicted, but your, your you're not able to free yourself from the thoughts. And it doesn't mean that the things that you are worrying about or you are anxious about are founded in fact. I think that we all worry unnecessarily quite often about things. And something is definitely in your head and it's making things difficult for you. If you can see the card, this is quite an interesting one, um, because can you see there? You can see that there's all sort of worms and centipedes and bugs and things um, in, in her, her head. And it's like there's there's some sort of poison, and you know it's, it's it's nasty, it's dark, and it's icky in there. Um, and when the shadow like that, when the the person on this card is in darkness, it means that it's it's you that's causing it yourself, not necessarily outside forces that somebody is doing something to you. It's that you can't rid yourself of perhaps some negativity. Um, astrologically, there's so much planetary activity going on at the moment and we've just come out of the full, full moon and the solar eclipse, which both happened at the same time, which is why we had a solar eclipse, because we had a full moon and the two of them were directly opposite each other. Um, that there is an awful lot of energy going around at the moment and a lot of people are feeling as though they have a huge weight on their shoulders and are carrying a, a huge burden and Virgo I wonder as to whether that's how you're feeling at the moment and I don't want you to be I don't want you to be feeling like that at all obviously um but I I meant to say that I don't want you to feel as though you're alone in 
how you're feeling because I think a lot of us are, are feeling that sort of heavy weight um, around us at the moment. The thing that is stopping us getting out of this situation is the Eight of Swords. Swords are all about thoughts and ideas. And this shows that this person is bound again. There's this dark figure, which means that this is all all contained within yourself. This isn't outer um, forces working on you. And each one of these, it, it's, it's her hair, which is actually sort of bound to each one of these swords. She's wanting to pull away from them, but she can't because they're, 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 she thinks that they're tied to the sword. Actually, when you look at them really closely, if you can see that, they're not. They might be curled round them, but she she certainly is not tied or trapped to those those swords and you feel like you are tied to them and that you can't free yourself and spirit is saying that you need to work on this this is what you need to be working on the the things that are in your head these burdens that you're feeling and it's showing that what is holding you back is the feeling that you can't get out of this situation. Let's see what you can do about it. Okay, so we get the Four of Discs and the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Discs typically is about being a bit of a miser. Um, and the Four of Discs usually indicates that you should stop being a miser. You should um, stop being so tight with your money or your resources um, or just generally your attitude of being so reserved. And you just need to go out and, and kind of have a, have a nice time. Um, you can see that he's kneeling on these pentacles and he's got these lovely flowers behind him. He can't actually see them. What he's doing instead is he's forgotten all about the lovely things that are going on behind him. Um, and he's just fixated on these discs. And the discs are typically monetary wealth. Um, And he is, he's hiding his. He's not wanting to share them. He's not wanting to um, spend them. He's just almost sort of wanting to plant them in those flower pots um, to, to just sort of provide himself with more discs. The moth in the background is about a new start. And this card in this position is what you can do about getting yourself out of this situation so you can deal with the 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 anxiety and the the burdens that you've got going on inside you i almost want to say that you need to go shopping and and spoil yourself Perhaps you've turned into a bit of a hermit and you're not going out as much as you used to. That there is this, this life outside that you have the ability to get involved with and see it is for your own well-being. And you're not doing it. You're not looking at the flowers. You're very fixated on this. It might be that you are fixated, that, that these issues are money issues that you have. And this is why you're so stressed out. 
but the four of discs, discs is a good card it shows that you have wealth and that this shouldn't be an issue to you but you have to just let go a bit and maybe it does involve spending a bit of money on yourself to make yourself feel better or just let up on the worry because you are worrying about nothing that everything will sort itself out the moth is like a, a, a sign of protection and opportunity and I think you need to realise that this money issue that you feel that you have isn't actually there at all. It's not as bad as you think it is. Goodness me. So much emotion in here, Virgo. I just want to see what's at the bottom of the deck. Prince of Cups. What else do we have? Ten of Cups. Prince of Cups, Ten of Cups, Two of Discs, Eight of Cups. What's that card? The Hierophant. What you can't do, what you can't control, is the Six of Swords. Again, we have another black figure who is caught up in their own head and their own emotions. The Rider Waite deck shows the Six of Swords as somebody in a, a punt, uh, a sort of a low, um, shallow bottomed boat, um, being taken away from the situation that they're in. Um, to calmer waters and this is what's happening here these birds are lifting this person out away from her emotions to happier calmer times there are still clouds behind her but it's a calm picture as opposed to the slightly choppy sea that she's leaving behind think that this situation isn't actually going to resolve itself because for some reason you are going to get out of this situation and these thoughts that you're feeling and it might be that somebody comes and helps you do it the hierophant is as seen as a wise man it would be the pope or as somebody um, of religious sort of authority and high regard And it's almost, you can see, he's got these radiating waves of sort of knowledge and wisdom coming out of his head. And people are looking at him in awe. And it almost is mimicking the swords here. And in reverse, um, the hair here that's tied. So I do think that there is going to be somebody who is going to help you to get yourself out of this situation and these, these feelings of burden. Let's see what the outcome is. So the outcome is the Princess of Swords, which is typically the Page of Swords. And again, it's another sword, but this time there's only one sword. So we've literally, we're doing well because we've gone from the nine, the eight and the six, and then we just have this one sword here. And this is a great card. When the person on the card is looking to the left, it means that they're looking back the way. But they also have this, um, this little scroll in their hand, um, which is just hovering above them. And this is a card that shows that once you have conquered these feelings, and you've lost all of these different emotions which are clouding your, your mind and your judgment and 
giving you this these burdens that not only will you have the strength to protect yourself from it ever happening again but once you've conquered what's happened in your past when you look to the other side which is your future you have a really beautiful opportunity and it's just sat there at the moment it's just out of your reach but it is there and it is going to come and I do think that there is somebody who's going to help you get out of this it's going to rescue you from your own mind and your own thoughts and your worries if it is about money then try not to worry about it because the outcome shows that you've got a really lovely opportunity coming to you once you have rid yourself of these these emotional burdens Virgo I hope that's made some sense if it has please uh, leave a comment below and like the video sometimes these things resonate sometimes they don't um, if it has fantastic if not please check back um, next time or check out your moon and your rising signs as well thank you for getting this far I hope you have a lovely rest of your April um, and I will speak to you soon. Bye.